So we're here with the Panasonic GH2, which is their latest advanced compact hybrid. And what that means is it st shoots both stills and video. In this case, uh, HD video, really good quality HD video. Now this is a, what they call a mirrorless DSL, so that it's, they've taken that whole mirror housing out and it really makes the body much, much smaller. It's based on the Micro Four Thirds standard. Great uh, flip out LCD, we use that a lot in our shooting days, so when whatever we're hooking this up to a rig, I can, I can do my, my sort of framing and, and check for focus at all different angles. Great to have, pull it off a rig, use it nice and light to do framing and then, and then move our rigs where we need them. The range of lens is pretty good on the G series. You've got about a dozen of them, everything from this nice pancake uh, 20 millimeter, which is really bright. So this is great for low light situations and uh, gives you a nice uh, portrait type shots. Uh, it's about a 40 millimeter equivalent in the 35 millimeter world. Um, even more so, I use this uh, 14 to 45 for most of my shooting which gave me a good range for shot compositions. It's, it's not as bright as this one, but still an excellent, pretty fast lens. Um, the viewfinders on this are really good. In addition to the LCD, you have a nice uh, electronic viewfinder up here, but even better for what we were doing was you have this HDMI out. So the HDMI out we use to hook up right to a nice large screen television and uh, really got to do critical focus on it, figure out how it's gonna look on our final output, which was for the HDTV format. So it really helped out with us on set to have that ability to plug it in. There's a ton of viewfinders that you can expand with because it's got HDMI out. It has a, effectively a 16 megapixel uh, CMOS, which uh, with their intelligent resolution they call LiveMOS. Um, nice big chip, gives you really good in-camera in processing, and more importantly for me as an independent filmmaker is I can turn off almost every feature. And I've been shooting the last few days with green screen, and when I do that, I like to turn off any edge processing, and it gives me the ability to do that. So I can get nice clean lines and do all of my green screening chroma keying in post without any, any edge sharpening. So the fact that they've given me all these features and given me the ability to turn them all off as I need, great, excellent features for indie filmmakers. There's a bunch of different high def modes, but the most indie friendly one is gonna be for everyone to really enjoy is 1080p at an actual 24 frames per second. So it's what they call their cinema mode, and it gives you a true 1080p full frame at 24 frames per second, and they boosted it up to a full 24 megabits per second in the AVC HD format. So I think the previous high was about 17 megabits per second, so you get an extra, extra seven megabits per second, you're getting the 24 frames, so you, your image quality has is, is gone up significantly over some of the predecessors. Another great feature is the quick menu. So I could pop on the screen, go to my quick menu, and I could see where all my settings were, and then even affect the settings, change the settings. So on the fly, really quickly, right from the screen, I could, I could take a look. I'm not digging in deep into any menus to change the settings, it's right there on there. Uh, another cool feature for, for on set for us was that it takes uh, 14 megapixel stills, even while you're shooting a video. So simultaneously, as you're shooting video, you can pop off a few uh, four me 14 megapixel stills. You have nice, large, uh, high resolution stills to kind of go with your video. For us, when we're doing uh, you know, special effects, it's great to have that for textures and for touch-ups later. Overall, the, the GH2 is a, a great camera for, for the you know, indie filmmaker or for, for even what we're doing, we're doing a little professional filmmaking. It gives you that control of depth of field. They boosted the, uh, the compression so you have a lot less artifacting than previous generations of any of these types of cameras. So overall, great still camera and uh, even better for uh, indie filmmakers.